Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to upload some new media to the KTools Photo Store software. Um, here we have the uh, PhotoDork site which is running KTools and uh, KTools is a very powerful uh, royalty free sort of photo music um, video software that uh, comes ready to work out of the box and we've installed it here at our VPS server at the xyzserver.com and um, we've already uploaded some media as you can see here so we're now going to um, just show you how to, to do this how quick and easy it is to upload uh, multiple pictures um, to get started I will log into the admin area so you have your domain name .com here and then you just type manager at the end and it's um, manager forward slash mgr dot index dot php oh no it's not that one it's manager forward slash index PH. login there we go so we've got the, the correct URL there manager forward slash mgr dot login dot php and it's remembered me so I'm going to log into the admin area and you can see that we've got uh, a number of areas here in the dashboard but to add new media we can simply click on library add new media now you can uh, upload uh, images one by one but uh, we also have this area here that has images that have already been uploaded and how I've done this I've made use of the FTP features built into the photo tool script uh, so I simply make my way over to my uh, cyberduck program here my FTP and um, you can see here in, in the root directory I've got all my website files for the, the KTool script I'm going to click on the assets folder and then on the incoming folder and here I have all my uh, incoming images that I'm yet to enter keywords and descriptions for so I can simply uh, drag and drop files from my, my desktop or my digital camera or wherever I have them saved into this area here and once they've uploaded they will be appearing in the area here of the management area so let's um, upload an, an image here we're going to let's pick one so you can also scroll over the image and you get a, uh, a view of what, what the image will be so we can pick a nice image here somewhere let's find here we go so we're going to use this one here and by default they're all selected so we're going to click here to select none so we haven't got to uncheck them all and do the mixer so we click on the checkbox for the image we want to do the keywords for and then click continue so we give the image a title sound and then we add keywords like so you should just put a comma in between click add and you can see our keywords have been added there and then you, you basically make your way over to, to galleries so we're going to select um, which one are we going to select here we add some more categories but for now we're just going to add business digital versions so it's a, a royalty free image we can uh, set the price. Uh, default is seven dollars for us here. We set the default as seven dollars, so we're going to leave it as that. And we're also going to make this image available in all different sizes, like so, except the vector and the editorial. Um, we can ignore that. We can ignore that. 
We haven't set up any packages yet. Media types, it's a photo. And any advanced uh, information we can add here. So once we're done, we can simply click here, start importing. And this image will be processed. So your media has been imported into your site. Close. Brilliant. So there's one more step we will need to do, and that is um, to make all the different versions of the file. So we did select that we're going to have a small one, a medium one, a large one, and so forth. And now we're just going to select that we want to have multiple versions. So I'm going to click on the next page here. And our image should be here. So we click uh, edit the image and we have our digital, digital versions and you can see here that we can either attach the file so this is handy for adding vector uh, files, you can do a zip vector file attach it here, but these ones we're just going to create automatically so the script is uh, it's a very powerful software, will automatically create all these different sizes and make them available to, for instant download at the preset pricing that we've already configured in the, the management area. So now when we go back to, uh, to view the site we're going to see that the, uh, the image has been added, the sound mixer and um, it should be right here and there we go, there it is. We should have previews already generated with watermarks as you can see there. And we can click on the image for more information, there we go, we've got a sound mixer, and there's another size, and um, we'll scroll down, and we've got all our different sizes of images that we've pre-configured, and they're all available to download. So, for example, if we wanted the medium size, we'd click here, and the instant download is available. The buyer just adds it to cart, checks out, and can automatically download the 800 by 600 image. We've also got the uh, original size at the top here for $7 and that's how we upload new media. So you can simply go back into the area, ma management area and add more media as we go. So that's it for the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.